Hello, Mr. May. Thank you for joining us for World Canoeurist Flight Day from Paris, from France. My name is Simon. I'm a middle school student in the United States of America. And now, Gerald, my assistant and friend, will be coming over here now to ask you some more questions. My name is Gerald Starr, and I'd like to ask you what's your favorite fact about canoeurist plants? Uh, my favorite fact about carnivorous plants is that they um, do not only eat insects and um, little animals. Uh, I like the fact that they have a complex relationship with animals too. Maybe you don't know it, but some carnivorous plants are able to provide shelter for some animals, like uh, there is a species of Nepenthes in Southeast Asia, who, who, who is, which is a home for tadpoles, for, for instance. Another picture plants from um, uh, Indonesia, Borneo and Indonesia is home to, uh, to a bat. You have a species of bat which lives inside and uh, use the place as a shelter. I like this kind of fact. Can you tell us about your amazing artwork they created for World Plant Day? Uh, you, mean, Plant Day? you mean the logo? Yeah. Uh, well, the logo that you have on your shirt is, um, shows a carnivorous plant from Australia. At first, I didn't know which species to choose because it was supposed to be carnivorous plant day. So at first, I drew a logo, the logo here. That's the original. And if you can see on the top of the lid of a, of a picture, I maybe it's, it's not clear enough, but I drew all genera of carnivorous plant on the lid, all of them, bar one that I forgot. So you have Saracenia, Venus flytrap, etc., etc. Then I decided with a, a couple of friends that it was a bit too much, a bit overloaded. So we uh, we, we erased mo mo most of them, and um, quite happy with it. And I tried to design the earth inside. And because the the counter response is Australian, I I had the possibility not to show Australia, so not to uh, offense our people, uh, our friends from Australia. <laughs> and um, I think comes out quite nice actually and it's simpler to 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 draw a single species of an, all of them and i hope people will like it yes you really do you're amazing artwork by the way you're an amazing artist by the way oh, as well you. as a researcher and scientist mm. now my friend gerald will be coming out also once more to ask you some more questions can you tell us about your findings like the publications of two independent these species uh, uh, I publish uh, um, two Cambodian Nepenthes species a few years back. It was in uh, 2009 and 2010. It was a trip uh, to Cambodia, which is my um, the, the country of my parents. And uh, when I climbed the mountain, I found a species of pitcher plant of Nepenthes. I didn't know what it was. I showed it, I showed it to some botanists. They said that the, the literature, the papers, the scientific papers on the country were very few, that, it, that those, uh, this literature was really old, so it, uh, it might not be useful. So after some investigation, I found out that the species was new. And uh, with a lot of work and a lot of help from some botanist friends, I published it. It means that I describe it following a protocol, um, following scientific rules, and it was accepted in a journal. And the second species, I was contacted by a photographer from Southeast Asia, a British photographer who lives there called Jeremy Holden. And he showed me a picture of another picture plant from Cambodia. And I told him that it might be new, but I had to, to check because all the species from that country are quite similar. And when I traveled there in Cambodia, I climbed the mountain with Jeremy. I found out that it was new. So then again, I wrote a paper. What will we celebrate in Carnival? Carnival. Uh, simple answer because they're super cool. I, I think if you, I agree you also with that question. yeah, if you look at them, I, I mean they're they're quite beautiful, bizarre in their own way. They're strange. They have evolved in a really sophisticated way, and they strike the imagination just have to look at the Venus flytrap, for instance. You can see it in many movies, video games, uh, TV series. They are very graphic plants as well. That's why I like to draw them. There are so many, I, I think they're like kind of infinite uh, source of wonder. 
The same maybe can be said about other groups of plants, but I cannot see any other groups, maybe parasitic plants, but other groups that have some uh, complexity and uh, so many things, so, so many interesting things to look at. Thank you for joining us today on Walk and Every Sunday. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> you too. Thank you. <laughs>